Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Set to Succeed. We have a counselling session again, one more time, not in practical, but of course to get to know more about counselling. And I am here at KAPC, which is Kenya Association of Professional Counsellors, located on 2nd Parklands, one place that you could come, get some help, get some advice on uh, maybe issues that you're facing, maybe not. It could just be something that you really want to take up. It could be a course you want to take up. But right now, here with me is Rose. Hi, Rose. Hi. How are you? Very well. Welcome aboard, Rose. Thank you. Thank you for making time and uh, coming right here onto the Set to Succeed show. And um, of course, I would like to start off with, how long have you been into this profession? Uh, quite a number of years, mm -hmm. since uh, the year 2006. Oh, wow. Today. Okay. Yes. So do you uh, specialize in specific counseling or is it just general? I'm a general counselor. Okay. Uh, but I find myself working a lot with families and couples. Okay. Yes. So marriage counseling is something that you yes. do specialize in. Yes. Okay. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Now, today, one of the things that I'm going to take up with Rose is stress. I mean, each and every one of us has stress. We don't know how to handle it. Some people do, some people don't. And, um, you know, what, what do you see as the main cause of stress these days for people, for individuals? There's a lot about um, life today. Right. And, and, and you often hear people say, life just happened. And you right. wonder what they really mean by that. But everyday occurrences, there are finances, there are children, there, there is... Um, uh, maybe work not going on well, right. there are relationships that are not functioning properly, right. uh, anything can cause stress. Can cause stress. Yes. Okay, so when it comes to counselling, uh, especially for stress, because you say this, I just realised that, you know, we have kids out there who also go through exam stress. Yes. Uh, can somebody like that come for you for counselling? Yes. Yes. Yeah? yes. It's, it's possible. Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, when it comes to stress levels, what is it that you see that is one of the most um, stressful things that you have to deal with maybe or not so stressful or something that is, you know, on, on the higher, higher side of stress, you know, like in terms of nine to ten, you'd say this is the stressful activity. Um, in, in, in line with the area that I deal with, like right. marriages, you rightly said, uh, a lot of couples are having communication problem within marriages. Right. And the fact that uh, they are not communicating, it means that at the home front there is no functionality mm -hmm. and uh, they cannot quite cope within the, 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 the marriage institution. Right. And that uh, has come out as a very big major stress today. Today. Yes. Okay, so since you, you've picked this couple issue, I just want to ask you, would you advise uh, people who are you know, newlyweds maybe to come for counselling instead of it reaching that level where they have to come because maybe they're reaching to the level of getting divorced or staying separate or something like that? Yes, certainly, of course. And not just at uh, the point at which they get married, right. but also pre-marital, uh, long before they tie the knot, they, mm -hmm. they need to talk to a counsellor. I know a lot uh, of, of uh, uh, boyfriend, girlfriend at that level yes. that have come and they just want to understand what it is that um, is expected of them. And uh, so they ought to take up counselling even before they tie the knot. And also more so in the first years of their relationship because they are doing a lot of adjustment to living together and relating with one another right and so it's very important actually throughout the throughout. marriage yes it's important once in a while <laughs> not every day <laughs> obviously yes. now that you've said this if somebody mm. is coming for counseling how does it work at kapc do you um ask them to come on a daily basis weekly basis or how is it the most uh, they can only come um, several times a week if there is a crisis and we are doing what we call grounding um, okay. the people, maybe it's a crisis and we need to deal with the crisis. Mm -hmm. But what is uh, practiced is uh, once a week or maybe uh, once every two weeks, depending on what we are working with. Right. And in between there, there are exercises, there are homeworks that they carry away. Not okay. the homework of, <laughs> yeah, homework of school. Okay. Right. There are things that they will be working on to better their relationships. 
mm -hmm. and try and work out that stressful occurrence in their life. Okay. Yeah. Now, I'd like to ask you, uh, have you ever seen symptoms of stress? You know, you don't see people saying that I'm stressed out about things because mm. some people are, you know, quite conservative about it. Some people are open about it. What are the symptoms? What is it that you see and you realize, okay, this person might be stressed? Um, there are quite a number of uh, symptoms for stress. Okay. Uh, for example, uh, you, someone could come in and uh, their face, their face is quite <laughs> distorted. The eyes are, uh, are, are, you can see the change, the dilation, they are red. Right. Uh, you, after exploring a, a little bit more, you could uh, pick up uh, symptoms like uh, they don't want to, to deal with people, they are withdrawn. Right. Some of them are so agitated, they are angry, they are anxious. Uh, some of them tend to keep on just eating and eating. Others say we've no appetite. There's quite a myriad number of indicators. Indicators. Yes. Okay, so what uh, could you give the audiences maybe? Just a few tips here and there that could help them at home to manage stress. Yes, just a few. Uh, sometimes uh, we say that uh, when you can uh, work out the toxins that stress uh, produces in the body and accumulates in the body, uh, through physical exercises, that would really be helpful. Keep uh, working out, keep uh, doing some exercises, physical walking is one of those exercises. You don't have to spend money in a gym all the time. You can walk, you can lift a few weights uh, and whatever else you, uh, you might find useful. It's also important to check on the diet. Uh, there are people that say, when I'm so stressed, I want to <laughs> take a cup of coffee or a strong tea, and that's not good. So uh, weeding out some of these um, uh, drinks um, uh, could ease out, could uh, make one feel more relaxed. Uh, there are also other relaxation exercises which we would have to teach. For example, breathing uh, uh, exercises are very good, breathing in and holding it in the body for some time and breathing out again. It's also a, a, a very good relaxant. Uh, taking a lot of water is also very important when you're dealing with stress because um, you need to irrigate the body and you need to wash off a lot of these toxins and that's one sure way uh, of clearing your body, ridding your body of stress. Uh, your other eating habits, like taking in a lot of uh, fruits, uh, is good. Of course, there are certain types of fruits that are good for that. Um, a lot of vegetables, and we can go on and on. And we can go on and on. Yes. You know, I love the fact that you've picked up something that, if you put it in one word, that set to succeed is all about. Yes. It's a lifestyle change. Yes. One of the things I'd like to ask you, stress is just a word in general. Are there different types of stresses or levels of stresses? When you talk about levels, yes, there's low level, there's high level. Oh, okay. <laughs> Simply put. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And um, high level is, uh, low level is what you can easily cope with. Right. And um, uh, everything is functioning all right around you. Mm -hmm. But the more stressed you become, the more acute it, it becomes, mm -hmm. and the harder it becomes for one to deal with whatever the, the stress is. Right. And acute stress uh, actually is, uh, becomes dangerous because that is what would be a last stage before one tips over to depression. And so okay. stress is actually a disease. Right. And uh, we need to be aware that stress affects us not just um, physically, mm -hmm. it also affects us emotionally, it affects us mentally, yeah. and, and so uh, all this uh, we need to be aware because um, when it happens uh, we may blame many other types of illnesses sure. uh, and some people say I think I've been maybe bewitched <laughs> <laughs> but sure. yet yes. the problem is that uh, they are not being able to cope with uh, a stressful situation in their life. Okay yeah. I love the fact that you've picked up depression this is uh, one of the things that affects quite a number of people these days. I know that uh, when you're pregnant, uh, ladies go into depression. 
after pregnancy it's also possible mm -hmm. and um, not only because of work stress but just generally Facebook on its own I've heard is a way of yes. depression because they see people saying you know I, tr I went and traveled here they posted it they posted it but this person cannot travel somewhere so they get depressed so what is it that uh, you know you could help with when it comes to depression can somebody come for counseling are there are there you know ways that you could handle depression on its own I'd like to say that um, it's best to even come before you reach that point of depression because then it uh, will be easier uh, for, for uh, what we call talking therapy. Yes. Um, once one crosses a certain line, mm -hmm. then uh, you would have to combine uh, therapy with medical treatment uh, okay. for people to cope. So uh, we like dealing with the issues before they become that dire. Right. Yes. Does uh, KAPC deal with doctors, like, you know, in relation to doctors? Because I know some people go to doctors and then they come on this side. Are you connected that way? Yes, we are. Okay. In fact, many times when uh, some clients come and we recognize that um, they are not able to cope uh, uh, on their own, then we will refer them to okay. a doctor who can do a prescription. And we also get referrals from the doctors for the talk therapy. Okay. Yes. So, um, just to ask you right now at KAPC, if I was to just walk in, how much would you charge me if I was to come for stress level? The, our our charges are generally standard. Okay. Uh, one thousand five hundred mm -hmm. uh, per session that lasts forty-five minutes to an hour. Okay. Um, but sometimes um, it can go beyond that, depending on the intensity mm -hmm. of the situation that we are handling. Okay. And you can end up with a double session mm -hmm. uh, it's not encouraged but it has happened okay uh, depending on the status of the, the status of the person yes okay and uh, what are your opening hours like what time do you open what time do you close we are open from eight o'clock okay uh, to five o'clock okay in, yes uh, but we've been flexible mm -hmm. uh, sometimes we have clients that need to come in earlier right and we make arrangements for that Others want to come in later, mm -hmm. depending on situations again. Right. And the farthest we can take it is 6 p.m. Okay. Yes. Are you open on uh, Saturdays? Half day, yes. Half day. Yes. Okay, that's fantastic. You see, they do accommodate you. You want to come here at KAPC on 2nd Parklands Avenue. Rose, thank you so much for being here. Much appreciated.